Hello everyone and welcome to the University of Suffolk Club Africa 2016 summer trip to Fort Keres. This is us on the first day, having just arrived, getting kitted out for the first dive. Here's the inside of the van. Here's the first dive of the week from the bay at Fort Keres, just next to the campsite. Liam and Roxy there, just preparing to get going. The cove had several ridges of rock that were different levels depending on the tide. They each they harboured a diverse array of sea life, an interesting formation. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bay Ballon rats, common to all the Atlantic coast. It dwells in rocky and seaweedy areas. Back out in the open, we ascend in line of rats, going up gradually sloping shale. Navigation of the compass, to sure we're heading in the right direction. Difficult thing to do, I speak from experience, though I have since mastered it, I'm about to say. Here we can see a pollack, a larger, more predatory fish that also lives around rocky areas.
Back at the campsite, and you'll outline the plan for the rest of the day. Here's what our campsite looks like. Never got much tidy, to be perfectly honest. That Danny, he's somewhat special. Hey up, fumble. Luke comes to join in. I think someone's over excited. <laughs> Germany. place in the bay called the fishbowl together with Sunny Chu who you see there. This is an area where there is a particularly dense grouping of marine life. Fish of all kinds, arthropods, various others. This time it was my turn to use a compass to navigate. In this dive we saw pikefish and the standard array of gobies and rats and pollacks that we saw on the others. Pikefish are small fish that look rather like elongated seahorses that live on the seabed filtering out nutrients. The shoal is much smaller fish that can have a belief. Thank <laughs> you. 
more rats and another compass jellyfish. Possibly dead. There are quite a lot of dead ones. No, that one looks alive actually. That fish that just swam past was a cuckoo rat, another type of rat they're notable for their glowing blue markings on either side. Sonny and I searched the rock faces for the marine life of hidden crevices. I signal for us to move along. We encountered another pair of divers on our trip, waving politely. Unfortunately, this is the only footage I could get from any of our boat dives because I can't.